Nienberger, and I'm, uh, the title of my art is called Chaos. A uh, wall is pretty much a, um, a Lego oh, museum. One, there's actually a plane that crashes through the wall. A uh, Lego Jack Sparrow that changes his, um, uh, actually changes changes his um, uh, uh, boat to the back of a speedboat, while a bunch of, of shipwrecked British soldiers are standing mm -hmm. there in the water. Sometimes I would dress up nice like this, and sometimes I dress up in a leather jacket. Uh -huh. and sometimes I'm uh, actually wear. I have over, I got a lot of fedoras. Oh, hats, different yeah. Kinds of, different kinds of fedoras. I'm a, and I really do love collecting them. I actually once saw this one. I'm a hat at an antique mall. I'm a. It was actually an old soldier's hat, and I actually bought it. Uh huh. How many do you think you have? Uh, over 20. Over 20? Yeah. That's quite a few. Well, I'm, uh, I'm thinking of next time making it like a Lego Agents thing, an old Lego theme. And it was kind of fun setting it up, so I'm thinking of doing that as my next idea. Layer. I represented myself as this twist of boughs and branches bearing features of things that I enjoy doing, such as the recorder, the saxophone, which is actually something I learned from my boyfriend, and my head here represented as um, little smaller branches tied together crudely by uh, a bundle of, um, of bandage. It represents um, the clinical and medical skills and knowledge that I ought to have had, ought to have learned in the four, four years of medical school um, that I feel I'm still struggling to do. I had felt a strong turmoil inside me to start with, trying to reach out to my boyfriend, but somehow him not latching onto what I wanted to communicate. So that kick-started, that was the inspiration for this painting. Well, it'll be nice to, I, I'm certainly going to keep painting and it, it, this is a cathartic activity for, you know, to, to, for me to uh, take a peek at my own emotions and think about it in my own slow time. But um, it'll be great if I could somehow turn this into life, be um, teaching kids how to paint, okay. or teaching adults how to paint. Sure. I think that's... That's more interesting because adults who decided that they can't paint have a certain expectations and I'd love to break that expectation with the little pieces of skills that I learned. I feel the challenge of following a conversation that doesn't have a direction. Um, and I'm working with a therapist right now um, 
trying to see where my difficulty is. Part of it is realizing and accepting that some of the directions in a social, in a um, casual conversation, it's not glued together by logic. It's glued together by shared emotions and experiences. Well, I like. Well, I, I have fewer of that compared to other people to start with. Perhaps both because of my disorder and because of my social background. I'd like to present myself as a case of a high-functioning adult. My challenge is not in not being aware of other people's emotions, but seeing it and not being able to gather a big picture of, okay, what's important about this emotion and what's not, and what can I do about it? Um, because, again, um, I... I like to gather small pieces of evidence and put it together, but sometimes they don't match nicely, and when they don't match, that's where I struggle. Okay. Um, I think the society has done a great job um, coming up with an education system that, um, that allows us to excel. Um, however, there are some skill sets that are not um, honed in during, um, during the grade school or up until the end of college. Um, I think that the reason I uh, excelled in the school system is because it was based on taking good notes. But now I'm a fourth year medical student and I don't get the luxury of taking good notes about everything I, hear, I see and hear. So sometimes it's going to you know, cost somebody uh, the ability to find a job in a certain area. I hope that the society can um, while they're doing their excellent job educating all of us, also um, guide us um, in our job search and feel positive about both our strengths and challenges. Mm -hmm.